Hey, how's it going, guys? See my diction here. I've got some domination sniping gameplay for you. Um, not exactly an amazing game. I actually go negative by one kill, but I thought it was exciting, and I normally don't do this well when I snipe because I'm generally trying to fuck around. So, I am sore. I'm so fucking sore right now. <laughs> I was on a commercial shoot the last two days, and I wanted to do a commentary about it because. It was just so fucking ridiculous, and I've been on shoots that were hectic and chaotic before, like, making movies is hard, hence the title of this commentary. Um, and making commercials is hard, but any anytime you're, you gotta point a camera at people and set up shots and lights and shit like that, it's gonna be fucking difficult. If you see a bunch of construction workers building a house, and you think, man, those guys work really hard, same goes for people that work on a movie set. Like, so much tireless effort goes into making that shit work. And uh, so I was a production assistant. I was one of three production assistants. Or four, sorry. Ah, excuse me. I'm drinking some coffee. And it was a... It was like a series of, like, I guess episodes. But there were commercials, essentially, for the web. For Intel, basically this guy is set up in a booth um, in uh, San Francisco, down by... Uh, the piers down by Embarcadero um, in this big giant square. Called, I think it's called Justin Square. Uh, and it's busy, busy fucking place. And we're actually shooting on location there. Mistake number one. And he's in this booth and, like, people come up. The actors come up and they uh, ask him for, you know, tech questions. Like, hey, what the fuck is Twitter? Derp to derp, you know? And then he fucking tells them. And then he looks at the camera after they leave. And he's like, if you got a tech question, derp derp derp. Hit me up or something. Uh, give us a call. And, uh... So... It was a simple enough premise... But it was complicated by the fact that someone... I still don't know who. I asked around. Someone decided that not only would they shoot with two... Sony EX3 cameras. The, they, they, they set it up so that the two Sony cameras... Were pointing at either actor, so they lit both actors, and they would have them go through the entire scene, and they would get both angles at the same time. Normally, you just have one camera set up, or you have if you have the two cameras, they're both on one side, pointed at one actor, so you get like the wide and the medium, or the 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 close and the medium, some shit like that. And then once you've done all the takes with that person, you swing everything around. You swing around the cameras, you swing around the lights, the set, everything, so you can get the other actor. This, they were trying to, you know, uh, make it go a lot faster by having the multiple cameras set up so to capture both actors at the same time. And uh, normally, normally, that can work if you know what you're doing. But someone decided that we should shoot a bunch of wides with GoPro cameras. GoPros are those little cameras that people use. They strap them to their helmets whenever they're doing rock climbing or mountain biking so they can get cool action first-person, you know, like, uh, adventure shoots. So it's meant for capturing, you know, action and, and, like, landscapes and shit like that. But they were just... They just had the GoPros sitting on uh, C-stands and just pointed at the actors. And this caused so many problems because the GoPros are su have such a wide angle lens inside of them that we had like we spent hours and hours and hours adjusting every light and every and we even bought a, like a little fucking palm tree so we could put it in front of a stand because the GoPro cameras kept getting the other cameras in their shots because of the, the fucking wide angles so instead of just having the two Sony ca cameras and just having them go through the lines, go through the scene, and then, okay, let's push in for a closer shot for, with each camera, which would have saved us hours and hours of time. No, we had to deal with these stupid fucking GoPros, which don't even look that high quality. Um, they're not. I mean, they're not bad, but they don't look nearly as good as the EX3s. And so this was, it was just a nightmare. It was a fucking nightmare <laughs> dealing with these stupid cameras that shouldn't have been there. And, like, they would keep overheating and we'd have to wait for them to cool down and dump the footage from them. And then one of them just straight up broke yesterday, so we had to order a new one and we had to have someone come down and give us a new GoPro. And that took a while. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so this whole time, I'm running around. I'm either running around helping people with stuff or, um, you know, the like, you know, stuff like that, you know, like, or I'm directing traffic, essentially, 
as we're as we're call action and and they have them uh, go through the lines, we got to make sure that people are moving through the scene and not gawking at the cameras, which is incredibly difficult when you're shooting in such a heavily populated part of San Francisco, which is made even more difficult because there's lots of tourists, and tourists are dumb. Okay, they're in a strange new place with the cameras. And they're seeing all this shit for the first time, so they're and they're automatically just like befuzzled and confused. And is befuzzled a word? I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. And so, on several occasions, I'd be like waving my hand, I'd be like, "Hey, could you please keep moving? Keep moving." I I'd, I'd do it with a smile on my face, you know, like make them th so they don't think I'm being a dick. But uh, some people are just fucking assholes. Like this one man was standing right in in the shot. And he was just staring at the cameras. And I said, hey, sir, could you please move? And he just looked at me and he shook his head. And he just kept staring. I'm like, are you... Seriously, we, we're, we're shooting right now. You need to move. And he's just like, nope. Nope. And I'm like, fine. Okay, fine. I turn around and I'm like... I'm like, I... I shrug at the fucking AD. <laughs> like, I, don't, I can't get this guy to move, you know? And then finally he moves on his own. And then uh, the first day, there when I first showed up at like 7 a.m., there was this uh, crazy homeless guy in a trench coat who was screaming about Christianity to this guy that that just came off the ferry. And they oh, they got into a little altercation. They didn't fight or anything. It looked like it was about to come, come to blows. And then the guy just like went on his way. I was like, oh, shit, I really hope that guy doesn't come back. Sure enough, about three hours later, we're, we're like heavy, heavy into the shoot. And he starts screaming his fucking head off right near the where the microphones are. And it's already bad enough picking up sound, trying to pick up these people, these characters uh, talking and shit when there's, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people. And there's, like, this fucking zipline company through the, like, through the whole square. There's zip lines going, and people are riding down the zip lines, and it makes a really loud sound when the when they go by. And, and coupled with that, a lot of the times they're going, like, woo, or yeah, or some shit like that, you know? And I just want to punch them. Uh, but the schizophrenic guy was just, like, Barking his goddamn head off, and uh, one of the ADs went out to go take care of him, and then another AD went out to take care of him because he wouldn't leave. He started screaming at the AD, and it just got we got to the point where we had to like call the cops on him. <laughs> and eventually, I guess he left. I don't know if the cops actually came. Um, but this actually happened twice yesterday. Uh, this tiny woman who was also schizophrenic, uh, just kind of like walked up. Yeah, my my buddy Brennan, who was a, a PA, asked her like, "Hey, could you please, uh, could you keep moving for the scene? Could you please keep go." And she was like, not understanding a, a thing he said, and she just started walking towards one of our tents, like the uh, like the, the the monitor tent where the director was and everything. <laughs> and he was like, "Um, no, you can't go in there. You can't go in there." And she goes, "Why? Why?" Why? 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 And she started barking at him, and so he comes over to the AD. He's like, oh, there's this uh, woman over here that refuses to, um, you know, listen to me and, and shit. And she's, just, like, standing over there yelling why, even though he's not even near her anymore. Um, she eventually left, though, but that was just kind of funny. And then... Oh, God. there's uh, People are assholes. This, like, this whole shoot made me realize that people are fucking assholes. And they're stupid and they're sheep-like creatures. I'm sorry, we are, dude. We fucking are. And if it were, you know, if it wasn't like a crowd of people just like like wandering up and just kind of staring straight into the camera, like what? What are they doing here? What? What is this? I understand seeing a movie shoot is not a normal thing in everybody's life. Even for me, if I see fucking people pointing cameras and shit, and I'm like walking down the street, I wanna, I wanna see it. But I know not to get in the line of sight of the goddamn camera or go up to them and ask them what they're doing. Like that is the fucking worst thing you can do to people when they're in the fog of war filming a project is to go up them to them and bug them about what they're doing. Like, dude, we're trying to make a movie, we're trying to make a commercial, we're trying to do this. And you're making it difficult for us because you're taking away our time, which we need to spend, you know, focusing on this project to answer your dumb questions. Like, why do you care what we're doing? You'll if, maybe you'll see it eventually, you know. It's uh, ass and I, but like this one guy came up. We're we're shooting a wide shot, so we're kind of in the street a little bit. And he rides up on his bicycle, and he just kind of stops next to the camera, and the AD is like, "Oh, you can keep moving," because she thought he was like worried about getting in frame. Because a lot of people would, like, see the camera and they'd, like, stop, you know, like, oh, shit. And then we'd tell them to keep moving. 
And uh, he just, like, she said that, and he just, like, flipped her off, like, right there. He's, like, two feet away from her. And she's like, really? Really? He's like, fuck you. Fuck you. In that tone, that exact tone. Fuck you. Die. Die, bitch. Why don't you go die? Die. Fuck you. Fuck you. Like, he didn't even care about what he was saying. He said it like a Wes Anderson character. It was retarded. So, that's, uh, this, this, this gameplay is kind of winded down a little bit here. And so am I. <laughs> Basically, making movies is hard. And normally, I don't have a problem with being on sets and, and running around like crazy and, and putting up lights and shit like that, as long as things are running relatively smoothly. And it was not this time. So thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And you have a good weekend, kids.